job, that's a lot of junk here. There it is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> too much junk. Nice. <laughs> so we were strolling around Kmart the other day, as you do spending unnecessary amounts of money on unnecessary things. And we found an entire switch section there. <laughs> of unnecessary things. Exactly. And sometimes things from Kmart can be hit and miss. Like sometimes you'll find something really amazing or sometimes you'll find a piece of junk. So we thought we would buy all of the switch stuff and test it out. <laughs> now, if you don't know what Kmart is, not sure if you have it over there in the US and Europe, Imagine a little baby Walmart. At least that's what it is here in Australia. I anyway. think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty similar stuff. So we've got a bunch of weird switch accessories. We're going to test them out and we're going to rate them for you guys. So you guys don't have to waste your money. Just we do. Exactly. First, we have this Switch 4-in-1 charging dock. We actually don't have one of these and we've got like 10,000 Joy-Cons. They just kind of like float around everywhere, so. What is it? It's a charging dock. It's a for switch. For switch? A Switch 4-in-1 charging dock. Oh, it charges dock. your Joy-Cons as well. Yeah, so there's a switch on it and then there's also like four little slots for, for Joy-Cons. Joy-Cons, yeah. All right, well, let's go. Yeah, it charges both of them at the same time. Now, it is important to note that none of these things cost oh. us over 25 Australian dollars. In fact, they're all 15 or five, and then there's one like kind of bigger thing that costs us 25. Oh, jeez. Elevator music. Is this like a puzzle that we are puzzle. supposed to assemble? I think so. Okay, let me see the box. Wait, maybe I shouldn't have thrown the instructions away. Oh, dude, we need our own dock. It's not a dock. Oh, it attaches to a dock. Okay, yeah. hang on. One second. One second. All right, so we got the dock now. Hopefully it works with the OLED. Mm -hmm. I see. It's just this little USB bit. Sticks in here. I don't think it fits around the OLED dock. Oh, okay. Well, at least we know that it doesn't fit around the OLED dock. That's, um... So, you'll be back again? Yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> All right, let's try again. That was my question with a lot of the stuff is whether it would fit the OLED, so... Yeah. Good to apparently know that this not. doesn't. So, the OLED dock is wider, apparently. I guess. Okay. No, that one doesn't... Yeah, oh, yeah, no. There we go, yep. Okay, well... Does it come with so like... So what's this USB charger here? Is that, does this have to be plugged in separately oh to the wall? Oh my God. This has to be plugged in separately. No, it doesn't. It should run on the power supply that's already plugged into your dock. So I actually scrapped the rest of this segment of the video because we gave this thing a pretty average rapport because of that. It actually works fine. Turns out we're just stupid. Oops. <gasps> Idiot. Let's go this big bad boy one because okay. this is the one I mentioned when I said junk because it's got a whole load of junk in it. It's got a little pair of headphones in it, it's I see. It's got a little, little pair of everything, Ooh. apparently. So, first of all, the little... That doesn't seem bad, actually. Joy-Con Oh, grips. yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. So... This actually looks pretty good. Yeah, I've never used these before. We've got like a billion pro controllers, so... We don't really need them, but if you're looking for a quick present for your kid or something for Christmas and you don't want to buy them another set of Joy-Cons or another controller, it's actually pretty good. Yeah, like if you only had one Switch and you were playing Mario Kart, like multiplayer or Smash yeah. or something, then this actually would be really decent. Yeah, it makes it way more comfy to hold than a regular Joy-Con. It's comfy and the buttons work. And yeah, I did notice that the buttons work. Sometimes they don't on these. We've got things. a couple of these things like steering wheel things and the yes. buttons like don't actually work, but these ones, these ones do. And there's like a little rubber border, so. Yeah, they're sweet. Yeah, I like that. Okay, yeah. this is a winner already. We winner. Haven't even looked at the rest of it. Oh, winner, winner. okay, a case. All right, okay. Give it a squeeze, what's it like? I know, it's squeezy. Oh, yeah, yeah it seems, seems pretty solid. Sturdy. Yeah. Okay. Now inside there is a couple more goodies. <gasps> oh, is that First a glass of all, screen There is protector? a screen protector, yep. I mean, it's pretty standard screen protector, I think. Is it I glass think. or plastic? Uh, I think it's plastic. But... Oh yeah, it's plastic. And That's then, cool. what is this thing? This is like a um, case for it. Oh. It's... Yeah, that is, has like little grips oh, on it. It's okay. actually looks pretty oh, decently good. Flimsy as all hell. Well, yeah, it's just like a rubber one, isn't it? 
flimsy crap. Uh, yeah, okay, I guess. It's got little grips though. Is there any point to that though? Yeah, it's it makes it more comfortable to hold, for sure. Yeah, okay, it does, just. It's not gonna provide that much protection, but it does make it decently more no, comfortable because the no Joy-Cons are really uncomfortable on their own. Yeah, the Joy-Cons aren't that comfy, so it's got these little back things, but I mean, nothing compares to our beat em up satisfy grip. I know, how exciting, we just got it. <laughs> yeah, I think we were the last people in the entire world to get one of these, but well, we it did got get lost. It. it got lost in the mail, I had to message them and be like, hey. Like three times, but that's all <laughs> Look, I mean, I think this is pretty average. It's, you just don't. It's you, not that great. No, nah, it's Let's not Let's try great. it with my OLED. Ha ha, success. It does fit your OLED. It fits my OLED. Okay, nice. All right, and this case. Again, this isn't gonna work for your OLED either. Oh, maybe there's a little bit of wiggle room. Okay, so the OLED in this case. Oh yeah, no, it fits. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, okay, yeah, sweet, all right. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Just, but it fits. You can fit 10 games in here. I like these little game flaps because they go like over the screen. It's like an extra- Protects it, yeah. 100%. Extra layer of protection on the oh, screen. I like it as well. Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad case actually. It's better than our Nintendo case to be yeah, honest. Yeah, it's got an official that? Switch one and it sucks. Yeah, here it is. It's like- Go on, yeah, bend it in, you can bend it in half. Yeah, no, nah, that sucks. But that one is better than this one. Absolutely, it's got like and it came with all this other stuff. Things. Oh, it's got some other things in there too. Some oh, yeah. wet and dry wipes, very important when you go to KFC, and a pair of headphones. Wow. Okay, if all this costs us twenty five bucks. Can you imagine the sound quality in these? <laughs> yeah, probably not great. Oh god. All right, I guess I turn it on and give it a go. Oh, it's bad. Nah, it's bad. Nah, it sucks. Can't even, ah, oh, I can't even handle that. Useless. All right, what one's next? Can we do this one? Can we do this one? We can do whatever one you like. I want to do this one. Oh, we've got more grips. Okay, that's cool. This grip I've got a case grip as well. looks like it's like stretches out. I'll open it and we'll find out. Okay. <laughs> Have you seen the episode of SpongeBob? Okay, here we have it. Okay, so does that mean it works for both the OLED and the regular Switch? Well, I don't think so. This says Switch and Switch Lite. Oh, okay. Uh, we don't have a Switch Lite to test it out with, but we do have a Switch. Yeah, but you hook it over. This thing sucks. Give me a go. <laughs> Can't trust. Can't trust a man to do a woman's job, oh can you? Oh my God. Fair enough. You know what? I don't mind this. You just said that you hated it. Look, I, I hate getting it on. That's really annoying. But as far as like comfort goes, I mean, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's pretty standard. For five bucks. It's actually not bad because it's yeah. got these little ridges up here that your fingers can sit in. It actually makes it pretty comfy. I would go for it for five bucks. Yeah, like, for five you bucks. You can't really complain. We do have another case. So I'm more that, excited for that one. I think it makes sense to get on this one next. This is a charging case, apparently, which gives you allegedly up to four hours of extra playtime. Oh, geez. Okay. Okay, got that there. This comes in bits. Oh, so many bits. Yeah. Oh, you geez. hate bits, don't you? Oh, yeah, it's, I hate them. It's hefty. Yeah, it's, it's, it is. Oh, that's okay. cool. There's like a little memory card holder in there. Yeah, and switch card holder, yeah. I believe. That's cool. This is kind of a similar situation oh. with the other one, how you've got to like kind of stretch it out while oh, you're- Oh, really? Oh, hang on, that just pops up and then it pops back in. Oh. There we go. I guess you could use any Joy-Con with this. It doesn't have to be this grippy one. God, it is a hefty boy. So this is it thing charging or? has some weight to it. Is it charging? <laughs> no. Oh, wait, wait. No, now it's charging. It's charging, nice. 
I'm afraid that the whole switch is just gonna come off the Joy-Cons. That's how heavy this back thing is. The Joy-Con holders are like, they're just gonna fall off, man. They're, they're pretty average. You have a hold, so what you think? It's so heavy. Yeah, it is definitely yeah. heavy. It gives you four hours of charge or something, apparently. Yeah, allegedly. I guess if you're looking for a battery pack, like you're going on an eight hour bus ride or something across the country. Yeah, you're on a road trip. I can see use for it there. Yeah. But if you're just using your switch to and from work, you can charge it somewhere in the middle. If you're, if you're at bother. home, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't bother. But if you're going on like, I don't know, like a 10 hour car ride, it's not bad. It's, it's, it's all right. It's, it's pretty bulky and heavy. So I guess I'm gonna leave it in there and see if it actually does charge that well because it hasn't raised any percent. Since it's on 33% now, so we'll, we'll get back you know. to this one. What's next? This is fun. Protection pack for Switch. We love a bit of protection. Always use protection kits. Oh, another case. Another case. This okay. one's... Oh God, we have like a million cases now. Well, it's good because we didn't used to have like that many. Cases. We had like three cases, but two of them weren't that heavy duty, you know, like you'd be a little bit worried about it in your backpack. This one looks pretty heavy duty though. This one's better than the last. Is that? Okay, yeah, okay. Can't bend it. Yeah, okay. Rigid. Yeah, it is quite rigid, isn't it? Okay, it's pretty cool. Need it. What do we got in there? 10 game slots again. Yep, okay, pretty pretty standard inner workings. We've got another one of, oh. another iteration of the case that you hated. Interesting. It's just a jelly clear case. I don't mind jelly clear cases. They're yeah, good if you wanna like stick a bomb something. How is it? How's the clear case? It's pointless, isn't it? A clear case, well, it, I it's mean. It's pointless, it's it doesn't got do anything. Knobs. It's got some knobs. Oh, great, uh, I mean. Yeah, okay, adds like maybe plus one to the comfort of the system. Sometimes Laura's a little bit too positive. She's just like, nah, she sees the good in things. <laughs> Whereas sometimes you've just got to be like, it's crap. You don't like a barrier between you and your Switch? No. You'd rather just raw dog it? <laughs> yes. I mean, well, imagine. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go, this is what I'm talking about. Here we go, the positives. Go on, go on. You're walking along, <laughs> yeah, you're oh. holding your Switch, playing while walking, you're playing Animal Crossing oh, while you're walking. Oh, that is dangerous. You should you watch where you're going. over the gutter. Whoa, yeah. the Switch tumbles out of your hands, lands like this, ting. Has that ever happened to anyone before? Ting, Joy-Con comes flying out. Not with this. That is a very specific situation. <laughs> You it's should be actually watching where you're going when you're walking, everybody. <laughs> it actually has happened to me a couple of times, but I mean, that's the only instance where this thing's going to be better than another grip. Like you'd rather just have a satisfied grip. You would, you would. I would go for any of the. Other. I would even go for this huge bulky grip thing over that, because at least this does something. This charges. That doesn't do nothing. No, Sucks. it doesn't. It doesn't do nothing. We've got. Oh, you're these gonna things hate look these cool. even more. What? It's literally the same concept. Yeah, 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 but for the Joy-Cons. Yeah, I can get around what? these. What? Let's put them on. Give me why one. Why do you like this? Why, why are those better than this? These are even more flimsy and useless than that thing. At least that thing had some rigidity. No, these are going to be cool. I don't know, there's something about... Joy-Con cases are all right. They're like... They look cool, you know? At least these look different. Okay. Uh, I take everything I just said back. They are horrible. <laughs> yeah, look, it's, almost it's like, like flappy in here. It's like, imagine you're a size XL and they've accidentally given you an XXXL t-shirt. Yeah, that is That's what it's going like. On. There is some There's gaps. There's definitely some like The breeze is gonna give. be. So it makes your buttons harder to press. It's yeah. flopping around in there. Joy-Con condom. Me. Yeah, no. no. Zero out of ten for yeah. these useless. This is the only good thing in that whole pack. So this pack came with this case, that weird crappy switch cover, and these are uh, Joy-Con condoms as we've so affectionately started to call them. <laughs> hey, Miso. Hey, Mies. What's up, buddy? All right, so it's been a few minutes now. We now have a cat with us, as you can see. Hey, buddy. Sorry he's got his uh, butt to you, but you know. Cats do what they want to do, it's don't a nice they? Butt. It is a nice butt, so it could be worse. 
I guess we're going to see what percentage the switch is on now. Ah, 39. 39. Okay. Halfway point, yeah, let's check I, in I, at the end. I feel like it's, that's acceptable charging speed. It's been a couple of minutes. I don't think it would charge very fast if you're using it at the same time. It might just keep it on the same. Bye. <laughs> it might just keep it on the same amount, you know? Yeah. All right, the finale of the Switch accessories. The finale? Yes. Oh. I know, how sad. <laughs> I'm actually sad. Are you? Oh, I'm sorry. This was the most expensive one. 25 bucks. Gaming controller for Switch. Yeah, I don't know why we did this, but Hideous. we did. Well, mm -hmm. because we were buying all of the stuff. Yeah, for some reason. God knows why. Shouldn't have uh, broken the boxes. So we, we could have taken them back, them. yeah. <laughs> Oh well. I don't know how I feel about wired controllers. Actually, I do know how I feel about wild, wired controllers and it's not good. Yeah, I don't like them either. I feel like I'm back in 1999. Yeah, I don't want to like, well, sometimes I want to sit cross-legged in front of the TV and play like Spyro or something. This is our only wired controller that we own. I don't like right. the feel of the knobs. It doesn't have a D-pad, which is an interesting choice. I think it is a D-pad underneath it though. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, because oh. these other ones are moving. So it is okay. a D-pad. It's a D-pad just They've under... like covered up. That is a strange decision. I kind of like hate the design, but like I appreciate what they're going for. <laughs> Again, the red and blue, it's the switch colors. You, like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> You've like they've kind of got this like heavy duty like life proof case vibe going on mm. with it but i think all of the buttons feel like trash especially the d-pad because you press one button and all the rest of the buttons come along with it and also the trigger buttons don't feel very good the back ones feel all right it was really frustrating to get it connected but it's connected now and it's um a controller usually with wired ones you just like plug them in and then like it connects but it couldn't be that easy with Kmart, could it? I mean, it seems responsive enough, but there's definitely like better controllers out there, especially considering the quarters like this long. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. That's it for weird switch accessories. But when we were in there, we did see one more accessory. This one's for the PS5 and it's actually something we kind of need. And it was like $3. So, I mean, what do we got to lose? Really? Hey? It's just a DualSense charging stand. So open her up, Laura, and let's see if it actually works. I hope it does. It looks pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, it's got that same like sleek white design. Oh, it's okay. It's like, hi, I belong with the PS5. Yeah, I am definitely not a cheap knockoff at all. It does okay. have to be plugged in at all times. That's all right, But though. that's okay. Yeah, I can do that over I'll here. I'll go get the controllers. I've got them. Oh my oh, God. Oh, mate, I'm way ahead of you, aren't I? You're a genius. I know. I mm -hmm. love this. Yeah, okay. How much was that? Three dollars, man. Three dollars? Three Australian dollars. Imagine breaking like an $80 controller on a three dollar piece oh, of Oh yeah, equipment. there you go, now it's charging. So you just needed a blow in it. Okay. Yeah, Wait, that's no, cool. Oh. Was for a second. Okay. Now it's not. Hmm. Oh. I liked it. I honestly didn't expect it to work, so. Really? Yeah. I expected it to work, but maybe it would take like. A billion hours to 24 charge. hours to charge. Let's try the other way around, eh? It just doesn't like our red controller. Or is it because it's 100% charged? Oh, that's possible. No, I was playing with it. Oh. Because if it's 100% charged, then it's yeah, not going to have. Yeah, maybe it is 100% charged. This actually. one's definitely not. Yes, that one's definitely charged. not charged. Because okay, that's the one yeah, that you were right. using, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, that makes sense as to why it doesn't it just not like it the red. Yeah. Prejudice against red. <laughs> why the red one is so much cooler. <laughs> that's the one. Yeah, it. and it's the, yeah. it's the one thing we actually need as well. So. Yeah, everything <laughs> else actually, we didn't need. Yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with that. Me too. All right. I reckon that that wins. Yeah, I agree. So should we order these from best to worst? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. You know what? I reckon the next best things, honestly, those little Joy-Con holders. No, that's next. Oh, we're going that way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what else do you think? Well, definitely put that Joy-Con charging dock station at the very end because it doesn't even come with the cords that we need to use it. Yeah, why would... Yeah, get oh, rid you... of that. Put oh, that okay. at the end. Yeah, that's the crappest. This thing sucks. Heavy duty switch case. Yeah. That's pretty good. This switch case is also... I mean, they're both pretty... They're pretty decent. Joy-Con condoms? Ah. <sighs> I mean, they're pretty bad. No, they go here. Yeah, they're pretty bad, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Ah, yes, the controller. 
Look, I'm, 25 bucks for a controller is pretty cheap these days, but... And you get what you pay for. Yeah, exactly. With this controller anyway. Mm -hmm. This charging thing. What's it on now? 47. 47. Yeah, okay. Actually, so it, put it in it front of these what? cases, no. no? No, I don't reckon. Okay. It's bulky. It's kind of like a little pointless. I mean, it's okay. I just don't see a huge market for it. Yeah. That's all. I've got the stretchy grip that you yeah. liked, but it's it was like, pretty hard to get it's on. It's hard to get on, but I mean, it does its job. It's, Where it's, do you reckon It's here? the comfiest grip. Yeah, I mean, it depends how much do you like those cases. The cases are pretty the fine. The cases are pretty good, but yeah. I think that that's a bit more handy. Yeah, okay, yeah. I didn't mind this one. I think that the charging thing's better than the flimsy case. Okay, so the charging thing's better. Oh, that. Tom's favorite clear case that I can't even get off my Switch, so <laughs> it's just gonna be Oh, it's the forever, it. no. No, I'm, because these are my favorite Joy-Cons that are in here, so yeah. I have to get it off. But yeah, you do. for the moment. It's staying there. So actually, yeah, for that reason, I way prefer this one <laughs> <laughs> because I can't get this one off. Oh. Oh, it's coming. Okay, got it. Okay. Okay, it's still going below. They're here. both like... I think I'd put the controller before those, actually. The controller before them. The controller's better. Yeah, the controller's Yeah, these are kind controller. of useless things, right? Yeah, I agree, yeah. The controller controls things. Yeah, this is, this is pretty... They do not much. Okay. That's all our toys. So that's it. That is the order of the... Random, weird, Kmart, Nintendo Switch accessories. Should you buy any of these? Yeah. Yeah, totally. You should buy this. The oh, that's true. Yeah, PS5 controller stand. Don't own a PS5 controller stand. Maybe it's going to take a million years to charge, but... I think that you should buy this grip if you can't, if you don't want to get a satisfy one for any mm -hmm. reason, then this is actually not a bad alternative. You can't really complain. A grip for 10 bucks. Yeah, okay, you're right, you're right. Winning. Yeah, okay, yep, yeah, you're winning, you're winning. <laughs> I was just gonna say no across the board, but Laura's, uh, she's kind of convinced me. And same with the cases. The rest of them, no. Don't bother. Maybe I'd buy the battery pack. No. Don't buy it. <laughs> okay. Don't buy it, it's pointless. Okay, don't it's buy pointless. it. It's pointless. Just buy a car USB charger. Okay. <laughs> That's probably hard. good advice. Yeah, yeah. Long haul trains and airplanes both have chargers on them, so. Don't worry about it. Mm. You don't need it. It's, it's, there, there are no. It's point extra you need money it. for no reason. Yeah. Why didn't we buy it? I what are we gonna do with all of this? Honestly, I don't even know. So, we are holding a 24-hour marathon stream on the 25th of June, July. What July. Is it? July. 25th of July. We'll be playing a hell of a lot of games. Everything from Dead by Daylight to Kingdom Hearts. Laura's going to play like one of my first games I ever played as a child. It's going to be a good time. We hope to see you there. But as far as YouTube is concerned, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy these kinds of uh, weird accessories videos. If you'd like us to do something like this again, let, let us know. know. Well, thank you so much for watching our weird accessories. Tom and Laura spend unnecessary amounts of money on unnecessary things. And we'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, pins and needles. Oh, okay. I need to rearrange. <laughs> Sorry.